Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys watching today's video. And you know, we've talked about swim jigs a little bit here on the channel, you know, for beginning anglers, sort of explain to you what it's about. If you haven't seen those, you can refer back to some past videos. But guys, today I wanna to show you one of my favorite setups for swim jig to fish in the month of September. This is something that for whatever reason, uh, I got some theories on it I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to show you how to set it up and look for some areas to fish at this time of year uh, coming up early fall that should put some good fish in the boat for you guys. So, you know, guys, real quick, wanted to remind you, since fall is right around the corner, uh, please check out our fall Fish the Moment Lake Map Breakdowns. These are lake uh, breakdowns I've built myself uh, for Fish the Moment. Um, it gives you 40 GPS waypoints on your favorite lake, uh, tips and advice on how to fish them. Um, if the lake you fish is not on our website, you can book a virtual lesson with me. But that's a good way to, to get some good spots for this fall. It's also a good way to support the channel here. So much appreciated. Okay, guys, swim jigs are one of the favorite lures to fish. If you're not familiar with it, if you're getting started like a lot of anglers are, a swim jig is a jig just like a regular jig, except it has a head that's more of a fish-like or it's a streamlined head. You know, most jigs out there have some type of a bulkier ball head but a swim jig has a head that's more aerodynamic, aerodynamically designed. It's designed to swim through the water. You know, a swim jig is not designed to be bounced off the water off the bottom. It's designed to be reeled through the water column. And the specific setup I wanna show you guys today is using a white swim jig. This is the uh, Mega Bass Uzo Swimmer, which is freaking awesome, guys. I'll put the Baitworks link in the description if you wanna get you one. It's got a really cool nano hook. And it's got a really good keeper here that when you put your plastic on there, it never comes off. A little blade on there for extra attractant, but this is a really good swim jig. And I couple up guys with a Zoom Super Chunk in the pearl color. Now, most people that use a swim jig use a curly tail to get like the curly action. And I do too most of the time, but something about the month of September, um, I don't know what it is again. It's just the mood and the personality of the fish. I catch a lot of fish on this chunk here. And I actually, I, I can't take credit for this. There's an angler named Steve Kennedy that fishes the Bassmaster Elite Series. And he sort of made this thing famous on the Elite Series. I started using it several years ago when he, I watched him on some TV shows and he was catching them and it works really good. But anyway, I put this uh, Zoom, you know, uh, super chunk on the back of it and just, uh, you know, fish it around any shallow cover. But the thing about it is since this does not have a tail action on it, you got to put the swim jig action yourself. So what you want to do, is you throw your swim jig out there, keep your rod tip high, and as you reel it, just shake it back like this all the way to the boat. Just shake your rod and reel like that at the same time. And when you shake your rod, the little shakes makes this tail undulate up and down like that. And there's something about this undulating flat tail that it just gets more bites than like a curly tail does. Now, there's a couple things that you need to look for as far as for this thing to work. The first thing is you've got to have stained water. Um, if you've got water visibility that's over about, say, 12 to 15 inches, it's not gonna work very good. Ideally, I like the water visibility to sort of be in that eight inches to 12 inch range. That's when it really, really works good. And it works around a variety of cover. My favorite type of cover is fishing it around, uh, you know, lay down trees or stumps, uh, maybe some off the side of a dock if there's some shade coming off of it, but any shallow wood cover that you have and you want to, you want to keep it in sight. So when you cast it out there and you're shaking it and reeling it back, keep the thing high enough in the water column to where you can see it. Or just maybe you can, once in a while, you barely lose sight of it, then pull it up where you can see it again. But the whole key on this thing is you want to keep it high enough in the water where the fish have to come up on it. And the strike is super fun. It's like when they hit the thing, you see the fish come up and boil on it, almost like a topwater lure. It's one of the funnest baits you can ever fish is, the, is a swim jig like this. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to pass that tip along here. A lot of people fish a perch colored swim jig in the summertime, which is really good. But in late, su late summer, early fall, I guess the fish are feeding more on shad. That's why they like the white and the pearl. But just get you some, guys. This is, like I said, I'll put Baitworks and link in the description for the chunk and the jig both. Um, just produces some good ones, man. When you get a bite on it, it's usually a quality fish. It's not it's, it isn't like a small fish, lots of bites deal. Um, when you get a fish on, I bet, that, I bet the average fish that I have caught on this thing has been 
say two and three quarters to four pounds, which is way above average. So just wanted to pass that along. Hope, hope, hope it helps you guys catch a few. We'll talk later.